Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Red Ninja. Uh, this one I've heard is really tough to find. I was able to get lucky and find them at my target. Um, and I really hope I could find um, Shadow Storm or Storm Shadow, wherever his name is. I, I know it's one of those two. I know that is this flip flop one of them, I guess. Um, but this one I've been wanting to find. So here he is from the front. Here's the side. He's the eighth figure in the wave. Here's like the Cobra symbols or whatever you want to call those. Here's the back with the same logo. I mean, same pictures going on with the other boxes here's the cider of the red ninja looks badass here's the top with the cobra symbol and the eighth figure in the wave here's the bottom with the dcpi but besides that let's crack this guy open and here's red ninja out of the packaging and as you can already tell he has a bunch of accessories um but let's go over those real quick so first off he has this red little sword holder stuff there pretty nice that they have that especially since he has a crap load of stuff there so yeah he you just poured it into his back like that pretty easy if you can get in all the way there we go so i'm gonna keep that on him um and he has a bunch of weapons right here uh so he has this one really cool looking sword i wish they can add in the pagan apps like red right here at least and that's all throughout all the figures so all, I mean, all the weapons so um i won't be gripping it too much on each one of them but uh i wish they could add like red grip for each of those things but yeah so he has this one sword there uh, so there's that uh, and then he has these two i forgot what you want to call these but these are raphael's or electra's sword things i don't want i don't know what you call these um same deal with the other one right there grips um but these are pretty cool that nice to have there and he has these two tomahawks or axes there so these are pretty cool i like the look of it especially with that little slot there um so these are pretty cool and you get these this one hole there i don't know if you guys focus there we go so that's pretty cool there's those and he has this one super long i guess a sword that he's able to use for double hands like for both of his hands so you, you have to have him hold it with two hands so that's pretty cool to have i was trying to figure out what it was but then i was like wait a second there's an extended grip there so i'm guessing it's for two hands so this is pretty cool same deal with the other one red grip and he has these two other like hooks um, that they can use for climbing up stuff. So that's pretty cool. But besides that, that's it for accessories. And yet they has a bunch of them. Um, but let's go over to Red Ninja here. So this guy looks really cool. He has that Cobra headband there. He has this nice cool, cool looking hood. Really it's like a maroon hood there. He has a skull mask there. I like that a lot. That actually looks pretty cool. You can get some red there, white eyes, some white detailing, I think, through there. If my camera will focus a bit. But yeah, he has this, well, it's, this is it, one single thing. So you can take that off if you want to, but I'm not going to. This He looks pretty cool with just this. Um, you get this cool snake scaly looking texture there, just like the Cobra. Uh, commander does same deal with this here you get that same thing going on even through these it's pretty cool um and then he has this really cool red looking stuff there this is soft plastic 
and through the back there you can kind of see it's pretty soft there um and he has this like little straps going through there but that's all mold molded to this you get this little that same strap thing going on throughout the armpits there he has this like shoulder pad looking thing there lining so there's that he has this red elbow pad uh you get these other slots there i think those are for like the electra Raphael swords i'm not sure but we'll figure out here in a bit um and he has these little pockets or uh holsters there for him get this nice cool detail through the belt there it's really cool nice sculpt and texture there you get this gray line there and then like brown pants or maroon i think it's more like maroon not brown it's more rune pants and then you get this bright red knee pad there gray lining around the boot there you get these red shin guards and foot protectors there um and then black boots but besides that oh yeah you also get this molded um knuckle protectors there but i wish they could paint those black or something for him but that's really it for that look so he let's go over his articulation here so his head can move down just that much mainly because this gets in the way up that much mainly because that ball joint yeah that ball joint on the bottom of the neck there kind of helps with that now you give him look left and right you get a nice head pivoting there doesn't really affect it that much but it kind of gets in the way a little bit but it's not that bad as our shoulders can go out that far mainly because it can go past that 360 rotation if you were to take this off um he has a bicep swivel there uh he has double jointed elbows if yeah that's as far as you could get there um his wrists uh and this they go side to side for this guy and you get 360 rotation um he has an ab crunch so just with the ab crunch you go out that far backwards quite a bit uh, and then he also has a ball joint at the waist so with all of them going you can get him to go forward that far backwards a lot still um he can go 360 rotation with that ball joint but i'm not going to do that um he has a drop down hips there so that's really good and you get him to kick out a lot there you get him to kick out whoa a lot right there that's insane um and then you get him to kick backwards quite a bit uh, he has upper thigh cut there. He has double jointed knees. There we go. So that's how far you get those. Uh, he has a shin cut there. His ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. So overall, this guy's awesome. The only problem that I have with it is the grips, like I said already in the beginning. Um and i guess this is how i have his weapons laid out for right now i don't know where to put these tomahawks or whatever you want to call these axes um so right now i have this shorter sword right there with the longer one it, it, this grip pops out way far but same deal with this one this guy this one kind of goes out a little bit uh, and then i have those hooks right up here uh, and then you have these Raphael swords there I'm not quite sure where to put these guys. I think you might be supposed to have them holding them. I might actually just do that so that way uh, I have them up like that. Up, up, come on, there we go. Slide it in there and just have them hold these just like that. Um, but yeah, the only problem that I had was those paint apps for the weapons and stuff like that for the grips that I wish they could have added for them. But besides that, this guy is awesome. I think it might be a little bit better than uh, Snake Eyes, to be honest. Um, but this, I will definitely be trying to get him in action poses against Snake Eyes. But besides that, I don't really have any problems with him. Um, but that's all I've got.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is BadBuke767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.